Both secular science and the scriptures state that man was formed from the dust. The Big Bang Theory more or less holds that planet Earth and all its life forms developed from stardust, while the biblical account states that man was formed by God from the dust of the Earth, which he also created, and woman from the rib of Adam. And in yet another similarity, both world views state that man returns to dust. In John chapter 8, verse 58, Jesus is talking to people who don't accept him, don't believe in him, but he says, Very truly I tell you, Jesus answered, before Abraham was, I am. And we know that I am is how how God introduces himself to his people. He is the eternally existing one. Humans are connected to the earth. Both were created by God. Man is composed of the dust of the earth. Both the human body and the earth consist of 71% of water. And I just want to share you this one verse that really inspires my heart when it comes to creation. I just want to read it in Psalm 19 verse 1 and it says here, The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of His hands. The Earth's crust contains most of the mineral nutrients our body requires. Oxygen is the most abundant element in both the human body and the Earth's crust. So now, Father, glorify me in your presence with the glory I had with you before the world existed. I would say I believe in a full creation account. God said, let there be light and that it just was. Big Bang is something that's uh, creating the entire universe. God has always existed, but God created everything. Not just He put matter into the universe. No, He created the universe. He created the space and time of the universe. He created the laws of nature, the laws of science, the laws of physics, how things work. And for Him, it is all present. It is all now. Before Abraham was, I was? No, no. Before Abraham was, Jesus says, I am. The human body is made up of almost entirely 13 elements. Oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, and nitrogen make up 96% of our body's mass. The other 4% of body weight is composed almost entirely of sodium, potassium, magnesium, calcium, iron, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, and iodine. Silicon is an element in the human body. Less than 1% is not as prevalent as it is in the Earth's crust. However, we require this small amount of silicon for bone development and it is found in skin and connective tissue. I see things in nature way different now. I see it as it was created. My favorite examples, there are many examples, but my favorite ones are the maple tree and the twirlies, those little seeds that when they fall out, they twirl down, and, and they have in that little seed the ability to grow an entire new maple tree. It's just amazing to me how a tree can come out of that little thing, and that tree will produce more of these twirlies, so it's like a cycle. Mankind is God's workmanship. We are like clay in the hands of the master potter who is molding us according to his purpose. One of the core foundations of our Adventist faith is creation. Believing that everything was made in six literal days um, is such a concept that seems foreign now because a lot of denominations seem to follow more of a theistic evolution. I know for you, but for me, every time I look at the stars and the skies, it always makes me think and say that how much I'm grateful I am to know him in Genesis 2, verses 6 through 7, and it says, And a mist was going up from the land, and was watering the whole face of the ground. Verse 7, 
Then the Lord God formed the man of dust from the ground. A. E. Wilder Smith wrote, The necessary information to build man does not reside in the few elements it takes to compose him. God breathed into man the breath of life. God exalted his breath into the body that he had formed, giving man not only an earthly origin, but a divine one. And man's physical nature cannot merely be explained by the components that he or she can be reduced to in a science lab.